everyone welcome to two cents guideline podcast and today our episode gonna be super awesome because today as usually you guys already know us that munna me and abdur is always uh host this show but today we have a two special guest his dipti and roy and as we will as also munna and me but today as we have a guest and our topic will be really awesome for uh for discussing so we're gonna talk about their life journey like their journey across portugal from the studying from bangladesh and dipti is not from bangladesh uh, not came here from bangladesh especially but she's bangladeshi and also have a roy bhai uh, roy roy brother is always uh, he's already portuguese citizen so we're going to know his all journey across this video so without any further ado let's begin with dipti dipti how's going on and say welcome to our podcast thanks for thank you thank you right. for inviting me so yeah i just i've been in portugal since 2 months and it's oh. been going great like i've met some nice people i've met you guys so yeah it's going great okay thank you so much and uh, you came from bangladesh directly or you just came any indian country uh no i came from uh, turkey because my family is living there right now so i applied okay. for visa from there and and then i came to portugal oh, okay. oh that's nice so are you studying here yes i'm studying masters in uh, data driven marketing in nova ims okay. uh yeah so that's it wonderful and also uh, i don't think so uh, uh, roy does it roy, roy need any kind of like introduction but however we'd like to introduce no you. but i i i want to know so from roy <laughs> okay introduce yourself by three languages bangla english and portuguese as <laughs> so uh, shubho shonda okay bengali portuguese what uh, type and good evening so amar journey बेंगलीसिपीडी in uh, portugal uh, in my current phd program and i got it so that's how i am here now in uh, lisbon and finishing my phd almost and um, in the meantime i also received uh, my nationality uh, because as uh, you know or i don't know all of you know but uh, it is they say uh, that after living 5 years uh, any city any person who has a residence card holder can apply for national rating so yeah that's the short introduction of myself okay so uh, roy is we, we, we may have another podcast for knowing every like the whole journey getting citizenship yeah because I, i don't think so 40 minutes is enough or yeah, as, as he said <laughs> in the book 40 minutes is not enough to <laughs> describe his like almost is in a 5 years or more than 5 years 6 year journey yeah in in portugal is 6 years but in europe it's 9 uh, t- uh, years so 40 minutes is, is not worth it he deserve more i did a full episode yeah we go, we're going to we're going to discuss with uh, roy uh, next episode uh, now uh, let's talk about uh, some interesting fact because uh, and what i actually want to make this podcast more uh more relevant uh, according to the masters as we all, already discussed about like uh i'm i'm studying in bachelor so we already discussed about the bachelor documents and interview those these sort of things and also in last episode uh, munna and uh, me and abdur was discussing regarding the phd so we have missing one interesting part and the important part for the masters so as we have a dipti over here so we're going to know about some detailed thing about the masters so those of you guys are listening or watching this podcast please stay tuned with us if you're I really want to know regarding the master's degree and also some portuguese uh, advantages uh, as roy is already portuguese so you're going to say some interesting fact regarding portugal we uh, me and munna may be a little bit down today so cause we have a bigger <laughs> bigger guest with us so did you could <laughs> say us about your master's journey how we are facing here so far or like interesting fact something regarding portugal um well i can start with how i applied for my master's degree so like my master's degree is in marketing data driven marketing but 
bachelor's is in chemical engineering from Malaysia. So it was a very huge <laughs> lab <laughs> for me. But uh, then I, uh, because Nova IMS is a very prestigious university. And so I applied uh, into this uh, course with all my documents, ILTS and whatever we need. And finally, they gave me a chance into the program. Um, as I was applying from Turkey, so I was a bit lost because from Bangladesh, I know that there are agencies who can help us with visa matters plus. But from Turkey, it's kind of difficult because many, uh, very few people actually come to Europe or Portugal. Um, so it was very difficult for me about the visa matters. But talking about masters. So yeah, um, it's only been two or three months uh, with classes and exams and everything. And I think uh, master's years is pretty amazing. Um, the classes are not that tiring. Like you don't have to but do you're, like you're, three. Your you're, 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 uh, study language is English or Portuguese? Yeah, yeah no, no, it's, it's, English. it's English. It's oh, English. Okay. My, yeah. it's, it's my accent. So that means the master's, master's is available for English, the people that they don't want to come in Portugal. They are very yeah, yeah. Of uh, course, of course. And I think they also <clears throat> give Portuguese uh, language lessons. I don't know. I'm not sure about that. Did, but did you face any any interview from professors from the university or uh, any authority from university? No, 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 no. no. I just no. I just applied with my doc with my um Can you share degree. A little bit about the applying procedure, like how do you, how you started? How okay. You so what is the procedure? <laughs> I just um uh applied through their website when the program opened and mm -hmm. the documents that i needed were my mm -hmm. uh bachelor's degree my ilts um what else i think bachelor's degree ilts that's all i think i only mm -hmm. gave that all uh but they ask really? something like attestation from uh, from oh from yeah the At attestation is actually needed because uh for me it was a huge problem because my mm -hmm. uh, degree was from Malaysia. So I mm -hmm. couldn't do the attestation from Bangladesh. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I had to uh, send my documents to Thailand for att mm -hmm. attestation. And then I had to apply because they don't accept your uh, degree if it's not so attest attestation from the Portuguese embassy in Thailand. Yes, right? Portuguese yeah. embassy in Thailand because Malaysia mm -hmm. doesn't have Portuguese embassy. So I had okay. to send my documents to Thailand and some basic ILTS and all that. And after and like, yeah. Do you did you need to submit any financial documents like? No, uh, for for admission, no. Yeah. For visa, yeah. of course yeah. I did. Okay. Not not for admission. Okay. For admission, it's just basic uh, degrees. That's all. So I just submitted that and I got the admission. Like, send me an email and then after I got the admission, I had to pay them the like the deposit of 2500 euros something uh for it, maybe this is for the uh, booking the seat uh, something like uh, this uh, it's actually i think it's the Not half the of the tuition fee or ah, something okay. like that okay. yeah yeah. Fee, right? yeah, okay. yeah 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 so i had to submit uh give that they give very less time for paying that like three or four days you have to pay oh. that and if you pay that, then your but, seat is booked. But you, you applied later, like the starting time, and you applied uh, from the starting time is like being late. It's too, too late. But why is four days? Because it's, it's very, it's, like it's four days is not four enough. Days no, uh, four days or one week, I think. Yeah, because they, uh, I, I think don't you, know. you applied later. When they opened the, uh, the admission procedure, maybe you applied uh, no, later. No, uh, after, like, after you get the... Closing, like, after Maybe you later. get the applic uh, after you get the acceptance letter uh, in the letter they state that you have to pay this within this time uh, this mm -hmm. amount of money within okay. this time so okay. i think okay. it's one week yeah okay it's yeah, yeah. Week. It, I also it, it depends on the university yes it's it also depends depends on the university. On, i specifically you know well i was cuz my admission was uh, different i didn't came here from bangladesh so I, I i applied from the uk so when i applied i got the visa before that uh, nova ms sent me an email that you need to pay 2,000 euros in between in this, uh, like the certain amount of a date. It was yes, like yes, one exactly. week, they gave me one week. And also there's one big notation. Like if you don't pay the tuition fee, your seat will be like unbooked. Yes, exactly, exactly. Yeah, it was written in. The booking of the seat because maybe you got the acceptance, but you didn't come. And someone, I know, has that uh, waiting for the same seat. Yeah, <laughs> so it this, this, uh, yeah. but this also counts, uh, counts 
out from your tuition fee. Yeah, he's okay. also deducted from the tuition fee. He's also deducted from the tuition fee. Ah, Dipti, I have a question actually. So yes. when you submitted the application, how many days did it take to get the the result from the admission? They reason. have they have a period. They don't give the result until the deadline is completed. Until all of yeah. the applications are submitted, so mm -hmm. it yeah. takes. Um, I think they keep the application open for fifteen days, mm -hmm. and then yeah. after yeah. one month, I think, right? One month they mm -hmm. give uh the result. Yeah. So it's okay. kind yeah. of uh, not that late. Yes, yeah, so and also in Novimus, like in the, in terms of Novimus, they also like in their website, uh, where, where it was, like specifically applying, they have a, a like bigger timeline. They they shows when it started and when it's going to be end and when it, you're gonna get the results and when mm -hmm. that the deadline. The admission process will start. Yes, the the yes. deadline you need to be complete. Like they have a bigger slice, or you can say like uh timeline. Every timeline they mm -hmm. have. It's yes, really but the slots of uh, slots, I don't know about bachelor's or PhD, but the slots for master's, like at I actually applied two times. At first, I applied in data science related subject, but I didn't get in. But, and but they I, said I, that the to, slots. Why manage this? Because it's chemical engineering, data science, even the, <laughs> that you are studying is not fun. I, I'm from the computer science. I know even my master's was in data science. So I know how difficult it is. <laughs> I don't uh, know. I do do, yeah, data do science do data science would have been difficult, but because I'm working freelance as a researcher mm -hmm. for a company mm -hmm. and okay. uh, uh, that uh, that the the work I'm doing now is actually related to the masters I'm doing now. So I changed okay. my course but according to the, uh, by the work. according to his work experience. according to right. my yeah. work yeah. experience. That, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and Nova is also a very uh, good university. Very in Portugal but so in my I courses, just... they don't ask anything because they don't know about your uh, work I, I I believe they know your bachelor degree so when they saw you have the chemical engineering no, I, 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 believe, they, 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 I believe she submitted submitted her uh, CV CV uh, I, I submitted my CV so yes. maybe she described yeah, yeah. everything over there and also I uh, submitted a cover letter I mean it's not required but uh, you know you need to do some extra steps so yeah. I, I I submitted my cover letter also oh. explaining why can, I am can going a little bit I'm, I'm sorry like I'm in trouble yes. lots because I want to know because <laughs> we've got lots of questions Bunna got, like got confused right now. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not confused. I'm just uh, as the question that people ask to me. Yeah, <laughs> just yeah. To, to know these things. Yeah, uh, yeah. So the cover letter you wrote for the uh, Nova IMS. What exactly? Oh, but but like, uh, really, you, really, I know, Bunna, I, I really want to give you a big thanks, and guys, you should give her, give him a big thanks, because our two cents guideline now become a two thousand guidelines. Yes. yes. <laughs> Why I'm saying because now she changed the whole direction from the bachelor. Yeah. Like I know she is working on the same uh, same uh, yeah, yeah. area, but she need to justify herself. Okay, uh, why I'm choosing this this area because the, 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 and, and the, the, as, the, why, as the accepted you, as the accepted her so uh, cover later. Can you explain? Yeah, a bit so because. I actually don't know myself why they accepted me, but I think yeah. <laughs> I tried and they did. So basically what I explained to them is I explained my whole journey of because it has been almost more than two years since I'm working for this company. Um, so I ex uh, I explained in my cover letter my whole journey, like what work I did and how it changed my perspective from doing chemical engineering to uh into this uh, course and uh, I also explained them that I uh, I am basically very into my position right now and I want to gain more knowledge about this program so I can uh, horizon my field a bit more so yeah I think they really uh, listen to my thing and yeah they... yeah it's it's really convincing actually to be very honest yeah, because many people actually, uh, if you see nowadays, according to the statistics, your bachelor's and master's, people are graduating, but they're yeah, yeah, going into a, a different, a different field. It's a specialization course. It's not a, like uh, the not, course for uh, yeah. what you did before. It's, it's a depend on you, because this is the like the very specific one that you need for you the, for the career. For example, now you are the example, very good example. Like you, you are doing your uh, master's, your future work, like. 
your, your and, career. And so, yeah, you know, it's not only about masters. Like I've seen many of my friends are going into a totally different company or field, like from their uh, bachelors. Like they're gaining more mm-hmm. experience in industrial field rather than educational field. So that's how they they know what they want to do or how they want to change their direction. You just have to explain it a bit. Yeah, if you want to, uh, <laughs> yeah, the cover letter is actually very important because I actually uh, submitted the same cover letter for my visa and it was very good. <laughs> I was yeah, very that, proud of it because <laughs> you need to explain technique. your situation. Yeah. So the cover letter is very, very important, even if it's visa, even if it's master's. <clears throat> so every, I think everyone should actually watch this podcast because this is the most important part for writing a motivation, for convincing somebody. Because that way you explain the steps in your cover letter, which is kind of a motivation letter also. Yeah, yeah. It will convince. It, it convinced me. Yes, but and also like, I, and also like, really I, I, nice. I think, I think it um, should, be, it should be like your whole whole story because as the visa ambassador yeah. not not know you personally and, not the yeah, person yeah, so exactly. it should be like your letter is a story how you're convincing yeah and if you yeah. write it like a story with emotions then they will get to know you they can attach with you right and not just uh, why you want to change your field like where you came from uh, what are your experiences and stuff like you should like give all into your cover letter like because everything and how will you manage your IM finances no but some university has this specific uh, number of words so you cannot express everything uh, no, you have to be very concise but yeah this is very it's normally the motivation letter or cover letter should not be more than one page yeah so you but, need to be optimized you know you, you have to be optimized like, everything yeah, not like everything but like section, like section, yes, some some part yeah. about your life, yeah, some yeah. part about your course, some part about your work experience if you have. Yes. Yeah, this is how like actually it helped. Like a, you connected to your life, the story, that your intention mm-hmm. and what do you want to do that, that's the for, main by point. studying this. That's, that's three are the most important part for convincing i i also think that technical skill uh, skills are very important <clears throat> especially i've heard in portugal they really lean into your technical skills rather than your cgp or anything so if mm. you can prove to them that you have any type of skills no matter what the field is i think they will be happy yeah, to yeah, take it, you. it should be like yeah. yeah. they need skilled people this is the uh, like global not global the national lead for portugal <laughs> yeah skilled yeah. people so uh, Dipti, I I really want to ask you a quick thing. Uh, so in a whole journey, like from the getting your visa until applying, so uh, what was the main biggest or the hassle thing you like you consider it was a hassle or it it could be like the main problem while you were just uh, towards to your visa or something or getting your study. Program? Okay, uh, there were two hassles for me. First was attestation because, as I said, my documents, I had some issues with my university in Swinburne in Malaysia also, uh, some complications for attestation. Then I had to send them to Thailand. So and I also have... The attestation is uh, demanding from the University of Nova or the, the demanding to the embassy? Where, who are both, both actually. I mean, uh, both. Ooh. Because uh, since in embassy, you're submitting your documents, you can cannot actually give your original documents you're mm-hmm. submitting the photocopy so the photocopy needs to be you know original authenticated right you cannot just submit a plain okay. <clears throat> copy of uh, it in my case it was not like that okay i will no, tell no, the story in my case embassy only asks for the uh, asks for the at station but uh, the university because because you came from uh, you you got you yeah, went from UK you right? Cannot, you yes, yes, yes. Uh, but my degree, it's not. Yeah, situation. it's not. It's it's an international country, and it's Malaysia, not around yeah. Europe. But, uh, did, so you, that's uh, did you equivalent your your? Uh, yeah, that's what is I'm going to ask. My did you equivalent you your, uh, like your mark sheet or your certificate like you no no no, no i just i just gave no, it the way no, it is right. just... there is one fact because in uh, in the nova they didn't ask that for but you have to someday ah. today or yeah. tomorrow you need, you need to equivalent your certificate you know okay uh, ah, i think i i have given have, perception but... here because right now right now what i know most of the university actually asking for the recognition mm-hmm. the this yeah, is, they started, uh, they started this thing, yeah, they started. And uh, basically, if you are applying through a scholarship, it's mandatory. No, 
no way you can you cannot you, you can at least say okay i just made the application and i'm waiting for, for the result that is probably acceptable but without conversion i don't think not, yeah. in also in the different i was waiting for four months for that um, i so got I my to... admission but they, they told me unless you were submitting your equivalence we cannot accept you so and also okay, they can, are... can you explain one to both of you like what is the difference between the recognition and equivalence the people can oh, okay ask, like, okay so uh, I, I think i think uh okay Roy, Roy said this one, then I, I will say in a different way here yeah. okay the recognition is like okay, for example, I, I just extend this question again like uh when we need the equivalence and when we need the recognition, like, and what is the difference between yeah. actually two? the difference between these two recognition is like okay, whatever the you grade, it yeah. is converted to the to the Portuguese scale because and, if and it also is, like uh, your your universe you did the degree it is I'm just adding a little bit you did the yeah. degree and it's valid degree that that could yeah. be recognizing and equivalence yeah. is like for uh, they don't ask for the equivalence for your bachelor degree that's for yeah. the equivalence for your uh for the master. High, higher secondary secondary for me that i'm doing my bachelor so they asked for the uh for your equivalence like in our country we did in a cgpa or gpa like uh mm. 4.5 out of this out of five but in uh in portugal or european union they uh their scale is uh zero to 20. 20. So they, they ask for the go to the, your uh, nearby any school or higher secondary school and submit your document. They charge only 10 euros and they will do it for you. But it takes too long for me. It was like three months. <laughs> okay, now it has uh, changed. The price has changed actually because uh, when I did my uh, master's degree mm -hmm. for equivalent for, for my uh, new job. So then they uh, I did the recognition with the conversion of the degree, with the conversion of the how do you say it? Uh, the scale. Yes. So scale. it was. It is. It is. It is now higher. Like seven, I paid like seventy five euros. I don't. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah. But for me, it was so, scaling. Scaling means equivalence is seventy five euros, right? Okay. Okay. So it I, depends. I, 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 now now it I have depends. a like, yeah, I have now one interesting question. This two question you're gonna see the both perspective as a uh, deep is very new over here. It's like two months. And uh, on the other hand, we have a Roy. He is like uh, more than six <laughs> years. So we're going to have both perspective in this question. Yes. So uh, first, Dipti, uh, how is the experience of Portugal and the job situation you were? I, I believe you are not working in Portugal as a like uh, in Portuguese economy, but you, you may be working in other stuff. So have you tried to job over your how the expenses or living expenses are, how the house accommodation in your perspective in very short time, what you've experienced? Oh my god. <laughs> the accommodation I don't even want to say. <laughs> it's uh, it's hell. Just recently I moved to my hostel and because the house that I paid it because it, it rained in uh, Lisbon, right? Like it flooded very badly mm -hmm. and the house I was staying in the wall started to leak. It was so bad. Oh. I had to Yeah, just just recently I had to Yeah, yeah. I know, I know. I also fall, fell down with my bike unless uh, Yeah, I, I just begged my university to give give me a hostel room for now and I moved here. So the accommodation is pretty bad and now? to be honest, yeah, the now <laughs> no, no, no. The hostel, no, 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 no. The hostel is good. No, I'm <laughs> saying that if new students are about to come or some are prepared, preparing to come, especially I would like to say about our website, uni places. Um, I don't think it's very reliable. I don't know why no, people re people rely on these universities mm -hmm. uh, or in, on these websites because uh, because because the good marketing. <laughs> No, because yeah, we need to spread this word actually to yes. not rely on these uh type of. If you want, you can go to the Facebook group. You can ask for help for yes, from fellow good. fellow bang Bangladeshis uh, and stuff. But do not go into this website. Okay, guys. So if you guys have, have, have any you problem, to... ask to the deep for your accommodation. No, no, no. How do you get this uh hostel? Like because the hostel also uh is not it's able to get. Yeah. I, I begged them. I begged them. I came <laughs> to their office <laughs> because, because I was I was hoping they're not going to provide the accommodation. She's going to be she's going to be die. It's gonna be die. <laughs> because I had to move out, out of my move out of my home 
at the middle of the night i booked a hotel and the next day i came to my university told them showed them a video proof that my house is leaking from everywhere and the owner is shit he doesn't give a deposit back because there is no contract if you want to buy uh mm -hmm. sorry get a rent in room uh do it in contract basis otherwise there's going to be a problem with your deposit but did you uh, share your apartment with uh, the uh, our nationalities or, or the different no 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 it's uh, the, the homeowner was from saudi i think saudi arabia yeah. and uh, he 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 used to sublet rooms to me and other girls they also didn't get their deposit back so it's a total mess any anyways so always go into a contract basis about a okay yeah, this is a very complicated. Uh, it's very hard to get <laughs> no. the room with contract from the person to person. It's, yeah, uh, don't thing. yeah, don't rely on website stuff. Like that's a one-time thing. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the but the bad thing is you came during the the bed, like the rainy season. Yeah, so yeah. It's, it's not only rainy point, season, but even no, the... but, no, but, but Muna, I, 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 like I, I'm not going to say. Uh, maybe Roy gonna answer this one. It's like uh, I, I'm staying in a Portuguese more than two, like almost three years. I never seen this sort of destruction ever. Roy, have yeah. you know, not seen this? No, no. Like, yes, I don't know uh, why. Why happened this kind of? Well, thing. Uh, it's it's it's. I know uh, the yes, story the Roy, too. Roy, the representative from Bangladesh. Oh, he, uh, from well, the thing is, you like uh, this, kind of, <laughs> this kind of this kind of raining happened. Bro, you should prevent this thing. No, but it actually the government was not also actually expecting this because there are some areas is over the river, so the it, the it is it has rained intensively. Like this kind of rain, it actually occurred in two thousand eight. Mm -hmm. And now it's again, and in some areas it was the areas are like uh, over the river, so they built up the construction like that. So there was no way to pass the water, and the all the water that is uh, coming is going to the river. But due to the sea level is higher, so water is going inside from the river. So it's like instead of going out, the water starts coming in. So that's why there is no way to drain is the water and Not too many. this flood the Atlantic, uh, Atlantic sea is here why Atlantic <laughs> sea is here but uh, the condition of the sea was not good actually uh -huh. it was in red alert like in our country like Bangladesh everything oh, was well, prohibited well, well. to go in the sea so yeah it was unexpected uh, yeah, but the I government yes, it's, it's, really, it's really pathetic but, how about, but, okay. but despite of the climate conditions even though the rooms are very scarce right now yeah. like you cannot yeah. no, get they, know, uh, they didn't touch their uh, the ancient uh, type uh, building because yeah. uh, they said so, they need to uh, yes they need to preserve care. they don't even, they, they don't even interested to renovate this thing no, no. it's our history the history and this history is fall on our head someday. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope so. I hope it's it's not going never gonna be happen. It's not going to happen like that. I, I, re, I really wondering about your like nah, the uh, uh, despite of the uh, accommodation, how the Portugal culture you were saying, and also like um, if a new student came over as you were so new, I I, I would consider. So what the job situation you have seen so far? Actually, I have not seen job situations at all because I have a full-time job already and I it's very hard to cope with masters and doing job. So I have not really looked around. But okay, so I have... this thing is not, not compatible with you. But, yeah, uh, okay, no, let's no. change it in a uh, uh, other way. Uh, like after completing your masters, have you seen any opportunity for that? Yeah, many people have told me. I have asked around and they have told me that um, digital marketing, the course which I'm doing, it's actually very uh, in demand right now. I in uh, maybe in Germany also. Like if you do not get anything here, maybe you can move to Germany and do something. But yeah, it's very very on demand right now. So so then um, I'm, then I'm going to ask to the Roy why or Roy is staying in Portugal, not moving to Germany. No, I'm staying here. I love this country, actually, to be very honest. I no, we, we, we love never... this country. We yeah, love we... this country. Yeah. Stay here. We love... I love too much because of the, the weather, but although this yeah. is not <laughs> good way... right now, but I, I love the uh, even uh, the people that are here, especially the uh, university environment, you find all are much helpful. So 
we love the country you know yeah. the, as okay, although you okay, got then, then i will, will ask this, this question to the roy cuz and i don't want to answer cuz i already answered before but roy could you please say me from your big big experience like what should be the situation for the new students if they come over here for the seeking for the job and is is it possible to like pay every rent or expenses uh, by yeah. earning part time or doing full time job for his tuition okay yeah. why the, one can live actually with the part time job but uh, paying the tuition fee is not possible this is really impossible and especially one you know there is a situation here like in bangladesh like uh, it's very centralized in dhaka portugal is also going in that way everything is in central base no whoever is uh, planning to travel here is saying okay i want to stay in lisbon i have personally talked with some people they are saying hey isn't there any option okay there is option there is job but there is also high expenses it's it's uh, unimaginable it's coming from different country and getting job is not easy he or she and, will not get the easy uh, instantly but she i want like... to give an example mm-hmm. um i uh, after i came here i was really new but i met uh, i have a friend i met him through my university um he actually he's from pakistan he actually came from pakistan and uh, he actually got a job at first he came in student visa but then he got a job here uh, in in one of the com- company and because he knows how to code like he he's really good programmer and uh, they just uh, they just asked for his skills they interviewed him and they uh, instantly gave him a job visa and he's like he's earning a very good amount of money and mm-hmm. uh, he's traveling to different places so um his life is very good so if you have technical skills i think it will be yeah. easier for you i would say that i would actually agree with the, i would actually agree with dipti because here the tech, lot of like international company like uh, entering into portugal they are actually hiring people for example there are companies like teleperformance there is oil help and then genpact and this kind of international organization they are actually hiring people for companies like google apple and all this type of company it's you if it's it's not impo- i would say it's not impossible that uh, you no, not find not a job. it's possible it's very possible, it's possible. if you have the skill it's if possible have, but yeah you need time a little bit time you have to cope it, up with the all the to uh, cope up with the situation here. for yeah. some time but it's possible. Uh, it's possible very possible but if someone want to not doing the skill job like the job that we are available here and he or she cannot pay attention to with this to be honest like, and and well uh, so you have like a, apart from this technical job Yes, you have these the other jobs that that appear the, the other jobs that uh, normal people are doing you can find job but you have to keep this in your mind that you have to think out of lisbon because outside of lisbon the living cost is lower and you also have job opportunities that's i am pretty much sure yeah true this true this true if people people like a Oh, and it's not like that okay if you are coming under a student visa it's like the it's not like that only the university of lisbon is better actually university of coimbra which is the oldest university the most the best oldest university across europe i think yeah. the coimbra is the number one university in portugal it's, right yeah he is yeah. the number one is the number it's, one it's, it's the <clears throat> oldest university and it's the very good university so it, the best thing is like most of the cities have a particular university and they are really really good they offer very very good subjects so you people should think like okay no, no not just in lisbon you have to think outside of lisbon and if you go in the south university of algarve very good university and you have good like a uh, job opportunities over there also people and you know we try to make things complicated people always try to discourage like okay no that's not good actually you don't have uh, like a very good position or job and stuff like this but no it's not personally i believe i think it's not true because no. there is job but you need to think out of the lisbon also all right so uh, we have got to know about many things from the roy that uh, if you are planning to stay in only lisbon then your uh, tuition fees and also everything going to be so high so if, if your tuition fee and living expenses is high then it would be much 
uh, tough to manage everything. However, if you just choose some university in outside of uh, Lisbon, that one of my friend is studying in uh, Polytechnic Institute of Bragança, is in Braga. So his tuition fees is only one thousand euros. It's really affordable over there. And sometimes you need to also uh, also check uh, check the environment and also the city. And also the main fact over here, as far as I have noticed, that is your skill of language. So there are so many opportunities. However, if you're not friendly with the local, that you have something to provide, but you don't know or don't know how to communicate with them, how to offer your services. So how to offer, uh, how to express yourself, then it's become really tough to say. So uh, my advice would be, please come over here and learn the language as fast as you can, at least the basics, so that you can just grow up with the environment. So uh, Deepthi, I have one more question to you. That's it, uh, that, it that would be like, uh, people really want to know what is the living expenses over here? Like uh, give give us some, uh, some quick review of your last month expenses, like how much you think it's really would be spending? Well, one thing about earning your own money is there is no record of your expenses. You just no, <laughs> expend and expend. We are, but we are yeah. asking for the estimated, okay. like how much it could be. No, that, uh, it's for the, the normal people, like average. Uh, yeah. uh, average. Okay, okay. so basically... I know, I know you, are, you are so luxurious person, so no need to go through that. Just give us something. <laughs> it's, it's, it's about the, the average, okay? It's not yeah. the okay. highest. Uh, but I will, I will take the maximum amount which I have paid here. So because uh, you will not always get the cheap version, obviously. Uh, so if I want to say taking rent and food expenses, it's almost like for me and also shopping and everything, it's almost like 900 to 1000 euros. That's um, true. Yeah, with the uh, living with the uh, the rent and the food and it uh excluding cooking because in my house cooking was not allowed so I had to eat outside all the time, so keeping uh in mind that but obviously everybody's living standard is different so uh, many people here also manage in seven to eight hundred euros, so right. yeah. I think yes depends on the rent you can get rent mm -hmm. in uh, 200 uh, 250 euros or you can also stay in a room for 600 euros it By actually way, really in, depends in, on uh, no, IMS, uh, how much you rent like the hostel rent the hostel um, rent here is 288 euros for uh, mm -hmm. one uh, private room with shared bathroom so for this, it's 288 euros. You can also use the kitchen. There is laundry. So it's really cheap. So, it's so you, and you don't need to... Final or is for the temporary stay in your... Uh, because uh, it's very, very hard to get accommodation in hostel. They don't really give because they reserve the room for Erasmus students. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, if you can manage to find, uh, it's easy for now. For me, it's temporary. But I would like to extend the contract. If not, then I have to see another room. So wish me luck. Uh, yeah, yeah, Nova Amas accommodation is really good. I visited over there. It's in Lumiere or no? Is it is, Sorry? Is it the place is in Lumiere? Where is the place? Is Lumiere? It's inside the campus. Inside the campus? Ah. Yes, the residence is inside the campus. My campus okay. is just here. Okay, interesting. In, I never... in, campus in, in South Sebastian, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The, the nearest metro is South Sebastian. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, good. Okay, got you, got you. It's really interesting. But uh, guys, I really want to give some conclusion over here because as uh, and I think also the your accommodation and your expenses is become more high because you are eating outside of your uh, yes of your accommodation. So you need to go all the time in a restaurant. And it's but I hope it it will change now since my rent has reduced in yeah, hostel so, and also there yeah. is cooking arrangements. So yeah. So maybe so if if we uh, try to count, you are paying like almost three hundred euros for your rent and also like. You're eating an hour if you're going to cook, so maybe it's going yeah. to be more reduced. So, yes, uh, yes, 200 more, and also your uh, uh, other expenses. So, we can we can uh, conclude everything. In the I think six, six to seven hundred euros oh. is okay for average living standard. I think. Living, living standard. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so yeah, that could be the good thing. So, uh, at the end, I really want to uh, go through with Roy because uh, he is more experienced than us. So I'd like to ask you one thing, Roy, about the 
uh, the study and settlement procedure over here, as you are already experienced, because so, so many people may be listening or watching us for the settlement thing, and maybe some other people also focus in Portugal uh, about the uh, settlement uh, settlement things uh, for like planning to study or <clears throat> stay in Portugal. So I think I believe. Because uh, there's so some other uh, uh, more developed. Oh, I, am. I think we can we can have another podcast. Just yeah, because, uh, yeah, yeah we can we can have a podcast on this. But because, uh, we, now I can it's, give it's, a general it's a summary. Yeah, yeah, just time, just I, I just want to ask you some general idea. Like uh, they should uh, they always need to do a study or they can we're gonna discuss a whole thing in the next yeah, podcast. Yeah, just just overview can as as you are example. Just a little little overview. Like, uh, uh, it, it should be a wise decision to stay in Portugal or they should move out. No, I think for uh, Portugal is a nice country to stay in because the living lifestyle is not so expensive like other European countries. I have been I have been in some like seven or eight European countries. I live there so I know the living expenses. So Portugal is a lot cheaper and on a magnificent weather. I really love this. And the people are more friendly. Mm -hmm. So why and the, yes, the, why, I just I just uh, I just include one thing that as Deepthi said, uh, he, she has a friend that got job, a very good job, and mm -hmm. he like in a lead his, his life is very good away. So it's possible to have, get a good job, have good money. So I I, I don't think the Portugal is not is 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 not a good choice. It's a very good choice to come here to stay, study, and uh, finishing study, and, get, and get a good job and. And as an environment, as, as a very Asian, we, we like, we should like this uh, the weather. Yes. Like our, the, our country. Actually, yeah. the, most of all, the, the main thing is like uh, no other European countries will give you the uh, nationality after five years. If you are coming with a valid visa, like a direct, direct visa, either the student visa or the like a work visa, after five years, you are getting, you are getting the, the nationality by default and uh, there are there are some benefits of uh, actually coming in, okay, coming after pro coming and start uh, receiving the residence card and uh, because after a certain time of the residence card the you start gaining some benefits from the government like for the student visa also that's uh, like uh, the tuition fee goes down actually I, when once you have a uh, residence card for two years and you are yeah studying. after after two years you considered as international student yeah, as a but, national student but, but you need to give an exam international national exam to convert your status yeah okay that's the I didn't know that but uh, it's it's yeah, really I tried, nice I, I option tried. and the exam is in Portuguese so that I quit oh really so, like what type of exam like uh, yeah, is it based yeah, on your is it based on yeah, your based, course based, or based, no it's, it seems like for the bachelor not in a master's master's is always saying no, no, in master's Ma you can just submit a paper or, or your all valid document that you have uh, you had uh, through these two years and they will consider as a uh, national student and you but, 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 but the national and international student for the master's they pay the, pay the same tuition fee but for the bachelor he has a one big discrimination for me, I need to pay seven thousand euros, but national student only pays seventy euros. So all I they... think that the masters also has the variety. No, no, the yeah, masters. I think Marcel masters also has different masters. Is uh, like a starting it's course. Less. National, national is, is seven thousand. In the uh, international, in the masters also. I, I don't it's know. Seven thousand. Masters so is seven thousand. So and I, don't, on I, course... I really don't want to comment over here. So, <laughs> actually, so, what I researched for the bachelor, that's what I'm saying so far. Yes, no, the master the bachelor... also different. Like national, they have the very, very less uh, amount of tuition fee. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Like 200, big, 300 part. Big, big discrimination. So... The, the, that, the, the what, what bad yeah, thing I discovered really... about Portugal. Nice. Yeah, no, 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 this is... You, you this came is... here, you have to pay them to get the facilities uh, from the study. Like, you get the... Yes, uh, yes. Uh, international certificate like european uh, standard education you are receiving so you have to pay <laughs> yes so guys so the thing have... is, it's, on, it's yes. actually same in all the european countries you the tuition fee is always higher for the international student so just to, to for like a, you are asking to answer your question finally this is like a, to get the nationality everyone comes here 
and after completing the study uh, and uh, you also have better opportunity to get job mm -hmm. and also like then after five years you become uh, like a citizen of this country and then you are a European citizen you are not a Portuguese, Portuguese citizen you are a European citizen and you can go wherever you want inside the European countries okay so, so but, but guys uh, as as roy is saying so like in a few words it's not a few words it's his six years yeah here. <laughs> so we're going to we're going to discover this thing in our next podcast so uh you have to subscribe the channel and you need to wait for the video and please let us know your specific comments and yeah we're very end of our today's podcast so guys thank you so much to join and specifically i'm not going to give special thanks to Munda because he's our always guest and so, Dipti, thank you so much uh, for giving us your valuable time. And uh, yeah, there, there's the there's the main point. We're really grateful to you. And Roy, well, maybe, maybe, maybe in the future, make we, your next podcast. we will call again, both of mm -hmm. you. Uh, as Roy will come the next podcast. Next for, podcast, uh, because uh, we have already decided. Uh, and Roy will come again for experience. Uh, for I, hope, experience. I hope we get <laughs> a lot of feedbacks and questions so we can answer them in the next yeah, podcast. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you yeah. please uh, you can you can because uh, this is better because uh, we are here to answer these questions actually mm. if and i think i will i will gain more new experiences as i live yeah. here so i can share that with you guys yeah yeah thank yeah, you yeah, so yeah. much thank, thank you, you so much we're really grateful to you guys so guys uh stay tuned with us thanks for watching or those are maybe somebody's listening our podcast so if you have any question and opinion don't forget to share this one in our uh, comment section we really love uh, to read your comments and it's really appreciate us a lot and don't forget to share uh, this podcast to your friends and your family see you in the next podcast till then no one thing bye -bye. Please visit our website <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't forget to visit our website. So just take the, uh, take the description below. You will see our uh, European Lifestyle. Yeah. There's the one blog. And we uh, uh, post everything, whatever you really want. And don't we forget will to get this podcast on, on our oh. website. So oh. we welcome. Oh. Thank oh. you okay, very guys. much. Okay, bye. thank you. Thank bye. you for bye. hosting bye. me. Thank you, Dipti. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, Dipti. <laughs> <laughs>